This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Keegan. And I'm Jeremy with your morning announcements for Wednesday, October the 25th. Let's start off the show with a message from Mr. Taylor. Good morning, Gales. Happy Thursday. Happy... So yeah, I get the dates wrong all the time. Last time I said Wednesday and it was Thursday. Now I say Thursday, it's Wednesday. I don't know what day of the week it is, but today is our Halloween dance, and that's what I'm here to talk about with everybody. So the doors open tonight at 6 p.m., okay? So 6 p.m. is when you can start entering for the Halloween dance. There is no entry after 7 p.m. allowed, so you need to arrive between 6 and 7 to get in. The dance ends promptly at 9 p.m. So when you are getting rides home, you need to be picked up by 9 p.m. So please arrange with your parents and guardians who's ever picking you up that they need to be here at 9 p.m. to pick you up. The only entrance into the building is the Wentworth Street entrance, the main entrance to the school. So I know a lot of people come in off of the Wilson Street parking lot. Tonight, for the dance, the only way in and out of the building will be the Wentworth Street doors, where all the construction's been going on, building the new ramp. Those doors will be the only way to get into the school for the dance. When you arrive at the dance, you please need make sure that you have your ticket, okay, and some sort of photo ID with you. You will be searched by security as well to enter the dance. If there's something found on your person that you should not have, um, you will be asked to leave. There will be a phone call to your parents, and there will be consequences to come with that as well. So again, to get into the dance, you need to have your ticket as well as some photo ID. The best piece of photo ID would be your student card, but if you have something else, that will be sufficient as well. You will not have access to your lockers while you are at the dance tonight. So when you get to the school, you're not going to be able to go to your locker and put a bag in there, leave your bags and backpacks at home. There is no need to bring a bag to the dance tonight. We will have a coat check. It's actually a really nice day, so you might not even have a coat, but if you need a coat check, um, we will have that there for a $1 donation to go towards the school and the annex. There are no in and out privileges at the dance. If you leave the school for whatever reason during the dance, you are not permitted to come back in. So if you decide that you're going to step outside at 8.15 and do something, you are not going to be permitted back in. So you need to make sure that you are in the dance from 6 to 9, and as soon as you leave the school, you will not be welcome back in. All of the school rules, all of the code of conduct, everything that Mr. Valeri spoke to yesterday on his announcements and everything that we've been preaching as staff and administrators in the building apply at a dance. Okay, so there's to be a zero tolerance for anybody being under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. If you are in possession of drugs or alcohol, you will be asked to leave, your parents will be notified, and there will be some consequences coming your way. Also in terms of school rules and code of conduct, your costumes, because it is a Halloween dance, must be appropriate. There are to be no replica weapons of any kind. Again, any failure to comply by these rules, you will not be permitted entry into the dance. Okay? And lastly, please remember that dances are a privilege at Cathedral, and they're not a right for a student. This Halloween dance this tonight sets the tone for the rest of the year for dances. If this dance doesn't go well in terms of student behavior and things like that, the administration team, along with student council, we will have a chat and we will consider canceling future dances. So please be aware that your behavior, everything that goes on tonight, sets the tone for the year for your entire school. So however many of you are coming to tonight's Halloween dance, there's a big responsibility on your part to make sure that you are behaving the way you're supposed to, that we have no major issues. It's supposed to be a fun night, and we're excited to see everybody dressed up, so please remember that just like every other time you're in this building, you're representing Cathedral and what it means to be a blue and white gale, a true blue gale, as Ms. McCabe would say. So we look forward to seeing everybody tonight at the dance. I'm going to turn things over to Mrs. Verasso now. Thank you, Mr. Taylor, and good morning, Gales. So I, want, I, I know that some of you have probably noticed as you walk along the second floor, there is a wall full of names between the chapel and room 204. This is our honor roll recipient. So anyone last year that uh, received an overall average of 80% or higher on their courses has their name posted on this wall. 
And this year we want to acknowledge all those students who are our honor roll re recipients at our Academic Achievement Awards evening. And that's coming up uh, in a couple of weeks on Thursday, November 9th. So I want uh, any student, to, I want you to first of all check that wall to see if your name's up there, if you're in grade 10, 11, or 12. Uh, grade nines, you won't be there yet, but you could be up there next year. Please check the wall to see if your name is there. And if you are, I want you to go to the main office to get an invitation that you can bring home, that you can bring back to the main office to let us know who will be attending the event on Thursday, November 9th. Uh, we'll have a meeting next week to explain some more details to those recipients, but if you could go by the main office to pick up your invitation and then return it to the main office, that will help us plan for that night. And secondly, I just want to uh, mention uh, one more time to our grade nines that next week is Take Your Kids to Work Day on Wednesday, November 1st. So you should have received a permission form from your period one teacher, and if you're in a grade nine class, if you're not in a grade nine class in period one and are in grade nine, then please come see us in guidance to get a permission form. We would love to have those permission forms back uh, by Monday at the latest, so that's October 30th. Uh, if you have any questions at all about Take Your Kids to Work Day, please come and see us in guidance. That's it for me. Now back to the desk. Oh, student, uh, I think that's it, right? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Miss. Student Council would like to thank everyone who purchased a ticket for tonight's dance. Today during lunches, those students who purchased on School Cash Online can pick up their physical ticket from the Student Council office. And today during lunches, Student Council will also be handing out spirit wear orders that were made on School Cash Online. You can pick up your spirit wear shirt from the forum during lunches. And speaking of cool School Cash Online, buying tickets for this Friday's homecoming football games are now available for purchase. To watch the games, you will have to purchase a $5 buy-in ticket. This ticket will allow you to be dismissed from class during period three, and you will also be excused from period four and period five as well. There are limited buy-in tickets available, so purchase yours on School Cash Online sooner rather than later. Next Tuesday is our annual Halloween Dress Up Your Teacher Assembly. Period one teachers who wish to participate must complete the form sent, sent to them by Mr. Trubuco by this Friday. Attention new participants to Schism in grade 11 and 12. Please check the CHS Schism LMS and complete a brief link to order a free dry fit Schism long sleeve shirt. The deadline is October 31st. Thank you for Mr. C. Siofani. Grade 12 graduating students interested in getting information on colleges, universities, and the workplace, please pay attention. Our school board is hosting a Pathways Night at Lyona Station on Thursday, November 2nd. This is an excellent opportunity to speak with many representatives from many of Ontario's colleges and universities, as well as your local employers about your post-secondary plans. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. and the event will remain open until 8 p.m. Bring your parents, bring a friend, just make your way to this event. Also, this event is in need of volunteers to help set up and take down exhibitor booths. If you need hours, which many of you do, Please come see Mr. Felice to secure a volunteer spot for this event. Progress reports have already gone out and midterms are coming up soon. Are you looking for extra help in math, science, or English? If so, sign up for the CHS Homework Club. It runs in the library on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays right after school. Come with your friends, get a free snack, get all your hom homework done, or even get extra support from a teacher if you'd like. Best part of it all? It's free! Sign-up forms can be found in Guidance, Student Success, Room 206, or Room 318. Thank you to all the students who have participated in the Gale Greats Book Reviews for the month of October. We have drawn two winners for this month. Our winners for October are Shamaya Kelly and Ethan Hollett. Please see Miss Lucy in the library during period four to claim your prize. To the rest of participants, your ballots will remain in the draw for the rest of the term, so you still have a chance to win in the coming months. And remember, the more reviews you do, the better your chances of winning. This is a reminder to all STEP Squad members. Your, regular, your regularly scheduled Thursday practice tomorrow will be postponed due to parent teacher interviews. You will resume practice on Monday, October 30th after school in the green room. Thank you for Ms. Cat and Ms. Martyrs. And this is a reminder to all members of the Culture of Life Committee that there will be your regularly scheduled meeting today after school in room 303. Anyone interested in joining the committee are welcome to attend. Thank you for Ms. Armachinsky and Ms. Martyrs. 
Cathedral's United Black Youth Club meeting will take place after school in room 310. There's a Chackers meeting today after school in room 308. All stage crew members are reminded of the setup today in the cafeteria right after school. Thanks for Mr. McMillan. And the board game club meeting is canceled today. Thank you for Mr. LaRock. Have you taken an extra French course since grade nine? Are you in French immersion? Or do you just love French culture? We're excited to announce that our parent info night for the school trip to the 70th, 70th annual Carnival de Quebec is coming up soon. The trip will take place from February 5th to 9th and students can look forward to a wide variety of activities, excursions, and culture experiences. This is a trip you don't wanna miss. The Parent Info Night will be coming this Monday, October 30th at 6.15 p.m. in room 325. If you or your parents can't make it but are interested in learning more about the trip, please see Madame Silvestri, Madame Capito, or Mr. Wu in your lunch or spare in room 306. Yesterday, 24 gales headed to Hilton Falls cons Conservation Area for the G-Hack Cross Country Championships. Every one of our runners ran their heart out on a tough, hilly course through the trails. Our senior girls placed third in the city, while our senior boys emerged as city champions. Our top finishers were Nat Nayel Mulgeta for the boys who placed 14th, and Lauren Daly for the girls who placed 28th. Congrats to all our runners on a great season. Stay tuned for details of our team party and off-season plans. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. At this time, each period one teacher is asked to send a runner down to the main office to pick up photo retake ID cards. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.